All right, this problem is asking us to um, match the histogram on the right with the different data, summary statistic data on the left. So um, let's talk a little bit about histograms before we tackle this problem. Let's look at graph A to talk about that. A histogram, what it does is it uses the x-axis to put ranges of values and the y-axis to uh, describe the frequency of those values. For instance, this graph right here might represent a 55-point test, and it shows how many people got the different scores. So this looks like about one person got a score between 5 and 15. It looks like maybe, well, yeah, five people got a score between 15 and 25. It looks like, and I'll change the color so you can see a little bit easier, it looks like 16 people got a score between 25 and 35, etc. So that's what a histogram is. And there's a couple uh, key tricks to finding the mean and the median based upon a histogram. And what you want to do is be able to look at the picture, which is worth a thousand words, and be able to quickly identify what maybe the mean and median are roughly. So here's, here's a couple tricks for that. So the median is best seen by estimating the vertical line that splits the area in half. So let's just take a look at a couple of these. For the graph here on A, you can see that it's pretty uniform, pretty uniformly uh, shaped, which is kind of an important thing. Notice that those seem about equal. This one here is a little bit more, a little bit higher than this one. And so the the uh, vertical line that splits the area in half is going to be closer to the one on the right. It's going to be probably somewhere right around there. And that's going to be your, let me draw that better, that didn't turn out to be very vertical. That's going to be, that's going to give you an idea of where your median is. So you can see that that's somewhere close to 35 but not quite as big as 35. So the median for that one is 32. And so 32 would be letter A. Let's try the same thing with letter B. Letter B, you'll notice that there's, I'm going to go ahead and use this little trick. I'm going to take that right there and start filling it up on the other side. And so I'm going to take that much right there and fill it up. It's going to be probably about like that. And then I'm going to take this right here and start filling it up here. And you can see that you can see that I've got some more left over right here and so my middle line is going to be somewhere close in somewhere in the middle of that second bar but closer to the right edge of it and again that looks like it's going to be less than 30 but close to it so most likely that answer is going to be B for uh, Number three is going to be B because the median is 26. Let's do the same thing with this one right here. C. Again, I'm going to start matching up. I'm going to match that side up with that. Um, well, actually, I'll start with the right side now. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and put it right there. I'm going to take that bar right there and pop it on top of there. And you can see that my middle point is going to be, I'm going to take, now this right here and pop it on right there and so I've got a little bit left over here so the middle point is going to be somewhere in here but closer to the right side so let's take my line here and try to draw it in whoops that's not quite good enough let's try that again still not good enough still not good enough let's see if I can do it from the bottom better nope Sorry, it's sometimes hard to draw in these lines. I'm just going to draw it in like I drew it right here. It's going to be somewhere right there. So it's going to be close to 37 and a half, but less than it, which is right there. C is, is the mean for that. And then for this last one, the frequency, notice this is more uniform, so it's a little bit easier to see. It's going to be, there's a little bit more area on the left side here, so it's going to be somewhere toward the middle of this graph but closer to 38 than it is to 50 and that's good because the median right there says 42 which makes a lot of sense so there are my answers let's talk about mode because we didn't really I'm sorry mean because we didn't really have to use the mean to uh, narrow down these graphs but there is a, a nice tell regarding the mean and here it is 
So here's that information about means. If, if the graph is symmetric, like A and D, then the mean and median are close to each other. And you can see, let's take a look, A, 31 and 32, and D, 42 and 42, they're very close to each other, if not exactly the same. If the graph is skewed to the right, like this one right here, let's see, skewed to the right, uh, this one right here is skewed to the right, B is skewed to the right, then the mean is greater than the median. So we, if we look at our answer here, you can see that the mean is greater than the median. If the graph is skewed to the left, meaning more values are on the left, higher values are on the left, which is right here, skewed to the left, C, then the mean is less than the median. And you can see that the mean was less than the median for that one, which was C. So again, your answers were, there were your answers that we had come up with earlier. So there's a little bit of an idea of how you can use a histogram to very quickly and, uh, and usually relatively accurately estimate mean and median for a set of data.